Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. You join me here today at my permission and as you can see behind me I've got some lovely hay bales so I'm a happy man. Um, the ground might be a bit too hard, I don't know yet. Um, it's 20 past 5 in the morning now, I decided to come early before it gets too hot. Um, I'm, I'm not looking forward to Monday and Tuesday tomorrow, well Monday tomorrow, it's Sunday today. Um, yeah, 36 degrees where we are, I can't bear that to be honest, especially being at work. But this weekend coming up as well, um, we're going on a Bala weekender in Wales, that's with Ministry of Detect, I'm look, really looking forward to that. So make sure you stay tuned for that, probably have to do it in two, two or three parts maybe. So yeah, let's um, get detected before it gets too hot. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you on the first hole. Just found our first signal, so it's the moment of truth. Whether we can dig or not. It's got a bit crap now, I've turned the camera on. Jumping about between 10 to 12. It's not the easiest. Two footer and you're all right. It's quite deep. It's ain't too bad really actually. I expected it to be a lot more trickier to dig to be honest. Still in the hole. I would have put shorts on today but um, from experience there's, there's a lot of um, gnats and stuff in here so oh it's in here whatever it is shotgun oh I can see something there at the edge of something can you see Shotgun cartridge, maybe, or is it a button? It is like a button or a rivet. Oh well, could be worse. Uh, oh, I nearly had a heart attack then, folks. Um, I just had this one coming in at an eight, quite loud, and blooming that popped out the hole. First thoughts was a dirty cut quarter. Uh, not a cut course cut off but I don't think it shows the importance of digging them low numbers though could have quite easily been so yeah make, make sure you always dig, dig them single digits because one day it could be something good just to show everyone again I can't stress enough the importance of making sure that your holes are covered properly all the soil swept back in don't leave soil on the side of the hole oh what's that so it's just hit me on the back of the head that's wet i'm hoping it's that dark cloud there and then it's not bird shit <coughs> oh here it goes oh phew it's gonna rain no way didn't expect rain this morning, but yeah, fill your holes in, don't leave the soil on the side. I've swept it all in, there's a bit of, you can see a little bit, but you know, that's, once this rain comes down, yeah, I don't expect it to rain today. Here we are, digging in the rain, God, God this one's beautiful, it's got to be a coin or something, surely to God. Solid 23. With my orcs, I used to know what numbers was was what, but with the Equinox, because I've only had it six months, maybe, um, I'm still learning it. Fingers crossed this is our first coin. It's 
quite refreshing this rain is actually not too wor worried because it's only like that little cloud I've just showed you still in the hole Is in that clumps there somewhere. Sorry. Crotch cam. Oh, it looks like a snuff lid. I wonder if it's a good signal. Yeah, probably some. You remember the snuff that they used to sniff? Um, probably something like that snuff lid or along those lines. Just dug this massive chunk of lead up. It's um, definitely a good sign of inhabitants here. Um, so yeah, I'm not not going to do as many live digs today because it's taking forever to dig the holes out, and every bloody one seems to be deep. <laughs> Sod's low, but yeah, I'll um, try to show you the best bits. So I won't be showing you a lot, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, we'll crack on. Car's down there. That's how far I've done so far. Started by my car and done where you can see the grass is shorter up to here. So yeah, let's crack on. Just found this from all the way down there in the bone dry. That is pretty amazing. I'm like I keep saying in my videos, I'm well impressed with the depth of the. Um, of the knocks. I mean to get that but I think I'm pretty sure it's a button. To, to get that button from that kind of depth. It was coming in a 15, 16 um but yeah it wasn't a quiet quiet signal but it was a, a signal that you'll dig. Yeah, listen. It's not doing it now. I think there's a big bird of prey in the trees. No, norm normally it. Um, it uh, responds to my calls, but not today. I just pulled the car up here now. Um, as you can see, the sun is coming out, but these trees here got a bit of shade. I think it's quarter to seven now. Um, it's quite a lot of pollen in the air, so I've just took a gay fever tablet. Hopefully sort it out. Don't want to be sniffing all the time. I got tired off once in a video. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna smash it, smash this bit here in the shade, and see what we can find. Just had this. Um, looks like a really, really old nail. Either that or some kind of dress pin, but I think it's um, a, a nail. But you don't see many like that. Just had our first sort of decentish find, if you like, old, an old bullet. Um, three ringed yeah definitely got some age to it this area not doing great so far but keep on searching that sun soon just shooting up above them trees now this one's a super duper signal now Oh, so loud. Come on, let's go for the coin. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Just uh, 
Oh, we are on tough coiny whiny. Get in there, brava. Uh, feels nice to get a coin after so long. Get the magic rubber around here on my trousers. See if I can get anything off it. Um, George. I can't see which one it is. If I knew my portrait, so I'd know. He's got the dangly bit off the back of his head. He's look wearing a, got a David Beckham hairband on. <laughs> This one was coming in and if he if he's 16 and then I dug the plug out and it's coming in at 18 to 19 and uh, I can see something green there I'm not sure what it is I'm just gonna flick it out now with the trowel I don't think it's anything um strange that one I don't know what it is There you go, if anyone knows what that is, let me know. I think it might be something to do with a... It's got a 27 on there, just at the very bottom. I think it could be something to do with um, shotguns, but... I don't know, it's got a good bit of weight to it. I'm not too sure, let me know. Just have this rusty old buckle. Come in 13, 14. Definitely getting hot now. It's getting hot in here. So take out for your coat. I'm getting so hot. Ooh. All right, let's crack on. Got another uh, 14, 15. Plenty of targets to dig today. I know I've done this field, these fields quite a lot, but you know, it takes you ages to cover them by yourself unless, unless you marked them out and did them, which would still take ages. Ah, big stir. In an ideal world, I would, um, I would mark it all out, but you know, the grass gets cut. And I've got what, probably a month, month depending on the weather to detect before it grows too long again. Obviously if it doesn't rain, the grass won't grow as quick, but ding dang do got a beautiful lead token with the letter i on it just see in the sun i have had quite a lot of lead tokens out this field and just a bit further down down there by the hedges i do find quite a lot of lead so yeah i like i love things like this 
just fired ourselves a little musket ball. So it just goes to show there's definitely history here. Um, I've just got to find it. Right, I've just found this really deep. Um, it looks old to me. It looks like it could be bronze. Um, has anyone got any ideas? It's got a hole through there. Looks like it's probably broken off something. Yeah, definitely got some weight to it and it looks old. Looks like we're onto a spindle worm, maybe. Um, yeah, it looks like a pretty crude one. Crack it, so now it's going to be a cracky day today. I do love this permission, it's got a lot to give. Um, I've had some nice stuff out of here, but I've just got to keep on searching for it. I'm, uh, like I say, I'm at work next week and then I break up for a week so I got my lad so I'm gonna have quite a few days on here obviously I'm gonna take my lad out as well somewhere and whatnot but yeah I go, I've got to give it a good smashing because I might not get a chance to do it again until next year now depends if you might have a cut of the grass in September I don't know fingers crossed this one now uh, is coming in a banging 20. Dug the plug out. 2021. Oh, just in the side. Another lead token. Looks like um, beautiful. Like, don't think it's lead. Sorry, folks, I didn't have you on. It's like a beautiful button, like with the flower. Good, we're getting on the finds today. Just lacking a bit of silver now. Come on, me, baby. So now it's coming in at, <clears throat> I think it was a nine, low nine, and um, whatever it is is in here. So let's open her up. It's in this one somewhere. Still in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, you swine bag. See the edge of that and you think, I just, when you know, when I broke it open and you could see the writing, I thought, yes, hammered. But no, we've got a four hole. Beautiful four hole button. Looks like we found a coin I've just moved. Um, this was coming in eight to nine. Surprise me, is it a copper? It is a sixpence, 1948. Should be silver, but it's um, not quite got 100% silver content, but it's kind of a silver. 1948. Get in there, that'll do. Right by the edge of the field now, this ain't far from where I found a uh, Gothic Florin. Um, she said this 22. Well, 20 to 22. Jumping around a little bit. Wind's picked up now, which is quite a, quite um, quite pleasant, to be honest. Just down there somewhere. There's a footpath just the other side. I'm right up against the fence now. 
and there's an old footpath I think the footpath used to run through the field until it got fenced off well not through the field but there wasn't didn't used to be a fence there that's what I was trying to say come on be another coin We're out. Oh, I can see a silver disc there. Oh, what's that? Come on. What is that? Is it a button or is it a coin? Come on. It's a coin silver. Hey, <laughs> get in there. Jesus. Oh, who's that? Who on earth is that? Right, I'm gonna have to get a uh, get my phone out for this one. Here it is. Um, I'm honestly not too sure who that is. Looks like one of um, JLS or something. Bloody fly landing on my elbow. Sorry, folks. The other side has got um oh, I stung my bloody arm then sorry. <laughs> it looks like there's lions on it. I'll ask my brother in law see what he reckoned about it. Just got this other signal a bit further now. Uh, it's coming in at sixteen to seventeen. Just started to get a signal there. So I thought I'd, I'd, so I thought you I'd get you to join me. It's every time I've found something half decent, I haven't recorded it. But if I if I recorded every single dig that I did, I'd have loads of loads of footage to edit, and it'd just be a nightmare. So I tend to just press record on the digs where I think it might be something good and um, normally the good signals are <laughs> the ones that crap come on now not far be another coin for me Hate it when it makes a noise. <laughs> you dig and dig and dig and you you put the pointer back in and you want it to be quiet, not making more noise. <sighs> Especially when the ground's this hard. I bet you it still makes a noise. Oh god. I can see green I think then. Uh, cock ring all oh, that for a blue cock ring it's definitely a jumbo size one that is now if I put that on mine it'd just fall off this one just now coming in at um, 11 double plug out now it's changed to 10 and 11 good signal hopefully it'd be something nice Lead token. Got some that's stamped in it, I'm not sure what, but um, yeah, I'm having a brilliant day today. It's been really good. Look at that, folks, dead mole. 
I've never seen them um, maul in person before, especially not a dead one. Oh, I think I found a silver coin. Just got the kids here with me, they pop down. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. I can see the edges of silver. <gasps> Please be hammered coin. Oh, what is it? It's not a button, is it? To William the Third sixpence. Yeah. I think. Hey, it's a double silver. Oh, yeah. I need Two silver coins are found there. Get, get in there. Yeah. I've just found this. I've just opened it up. Um, looks to be part, either part of a thimble or it's a squash thimble. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a squash thimble. I don't mind finding thimbles, I think they're quite um, nice things. I'll show you my um, finds from today. There's the. Come on, fully focus. There's the William III sixpence. Just about to see it. Normally these you find quite a lot of these that are um, love tokens. There's the George, I think it was George V. Pretty worn. Still silver. There's me other half silver. It's um sixpence nineteen. 1948 it's better looking wasn't term um, focusing very good that is like it's like a lead token i think let me just lock the focus you yeah it was um like that and then on the other side plain and there's the other lead token letter a um, that one was the one, I'm not sure what it was. I've got a 27. Strange object. Um, pan across. Got this nice button. Feels, feels heavy, I'm not sure if it's lead. Or whether it, it is actually a button or something else. Um, it's me totally copy you can just about see i think it's george could be wrong me spindle whirl there's me nail looks fairly old to me this piece i wasn't sure what it was feels like it's bronze Um, four hole buttons, that's all I seem to find, crushed thimble, this bit, I'd really like to know what this is, um, it's very strange, it's obviously snapped off somewhat but, yeah, um, then we've got a Selection of bullets, musket ball, cock ring. This was that last signal I had. It took me absolutely ages to dig. Christ knows, maybe it's a bit of a pot. It looks looks like it's bronze. Um, I'm not sure what that was. A bit of a funny one. So that, yeah, there we go. I've cleaned my finds from the last few days as well a few days i said um probably the last two outings i think all this is i thought i had that half crown i think that was the day my detector was playing up over derbyshire mm. i unravel if anyone remembers previous video i found a roll up piece of lead i think that was in shropshire um un unraveled it 
Kev at work was asking me, did you unravel it? Did you unravel it? I says, no. Um, so yeah, and there we go. Well folks, that's me done now. I'm absolutely shattered. That's been hard work I have today, but I've had a good day. I've found three silvers, well, two and a half, um, and lots of other artifacts. I'll clean them up and I'll show them you when I get home. So yep, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, make sure you like, subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.